All right, back to the other circuit. Um, so I've been poking around, and I wasn't getting good voltages out here. And I know that I was getting minus voltages out here. So I measured pin, th this op amp, I measured pin 3, and I was getting like minus 4 volts. And it's just a follower, pin 1 and uh, pin 2 are shorted. And I measured pin 1, I was getting 0 volts. So minus 4 in, 0 out. Well, that didn't sound very good. So I went and used my op amp tester. <laughs> and uh, it's doing exactly the right thing. It says that half of the op, it's a dual op amp. It says this half is good and this half is bad. So there you go. Yeah, the pin 1, 2, 3 over here is is bad. So, um, yeah, let's put a new op amp. All right, well, there we go. We're getting a nice healthy signal out there now. Let's measure the voltage on uh, the pin now. It was around zero volts, and now it's around minus 1.6 volts. Very good. That's why we're getting something out. All right, so uh, we could probably get more out at minus 3 volts, but at minus 1.5, it's now working. So we had a bad op amp. How about that? Let me throw this op amp in the trash can. Make sure I don't get it mixed up. All right, great. Uh, so we're getting a volt and a half now, minus one and a half out to the uh, pin diode, which is great. So these guys must be working. Um, and now this guy's working. This was the, the guy that was dead. What was the other half of him? IC3A. Where else was he used? 3A. 3A. Where's 3B? Uh, 3B. 3B, where's 3B? Hmm. 3A, 2, 2, uh, 1, 5, 5, 6. Oh, here we go, 3B. 3B was this here. Oh, he's running the meter. Oh, the meter's working. <laughs> the meter never worked before, remember? Let's take a look. Okay, the meter, the meter's doing something, which is amazing. That's great. Okay. And, oh, we'll say, it says it's leveled now. I was always getting an unleveled light. Oh, I think I fixed a lot of things. That's great. Yep. Meter does something now. Very nice. Very, very nice. And I am getting... Oh yeah, that's working. Can you see that on camera? Let me lower you down. So this is the output vernier, and you can look at that, and as I twisted it, it go, briefly goes unleveled, then it goes leveled. Okay. And uh, if we look at the oscilloscope at the same time over there, I can make it go big or I can make it go small, yay! All right, well that's fixed and the meter works. Oh yeah, see? And the meter goes, meter goes up and down as you, uh, as you twiddle a knob, so it should be giving us microvolts out. Yay! <laughs> All right, well, success for the day. Um, it's been getting pretty hot in the garage in the afternoon, so it's morning time now, so I might take the afternoon off. <laughs> um, Lots of success today. That's always a good thing. All right, um, I wanted to show off the uh, modulation. Um, so <clears throat> we have a, a sine wave coming out and I can turn on AM modulation and I can set it to 400 Hertz. And uh, we obviously get a, uh, we get a modulation over here. Focus, 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 there we go. And uh, I can change the percent modulation with a slider on the front, so zero and 100%, so there's 50%, so that's looking pretty good. Here's 100, uh, 100 kilohertz. You're not gonna see it here, but 100 kilohertz and 400, <clears throat> not 100 kilohertz, one kilohertz, I'm sorry. Uh, one kilohertz or 400 hertz is uh, the selection that you, that you have here. So that's now working on the output. So she's all, uh, she's all pretty well working now, except for the uh, face lock loop is not locking. Um, 
and uh, I think that's uh, quite a bit of work. There's phase, there's five phase lock loops in this system, and uh, I don't know exactly where to start on this one. Um, yeah, pretty strange. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I just can't get it to, uh, can't get it to lock. Um, I think uh, for the channel and for my sanity, I think I'm going to call it quits on the, uh, on the, uh, on the thing, um, and go on to on to some other projects. It may come back, it may not, but uh, I think it's definitely been worth the money. I paid 150 bucks for it. Uh, I think I got a lot of fun out of it, going through all of the all the different systems and learning about uh, how the uh, v VCOs work and uh, things like that. And a look at some of the old school, uh, old school construct construction techniques back in those days. Of course, all of this is done just on one chip these days. But uh, yeah, it's been fun.